Good morning, Americans and humans. This is your favorite alien <clears throat> here on the morning of Friday, February 25th, 2022. And today's commentary is on Ukraine. How do you stop this without getting any worse? As a favorite alien from another planet, I was taught not to interfere in affairs of other countries or civilizations, in this case, this dumb human civilization of yours. But there is a way you can head off this disaster and make it the point of some sort of human rightfulness here, okay? And to start this, this commentary is going out to you humans here in America, around the planet, but especially to the leaders of Ukraine, the USA, Russia, and China for that matter, and the Secretary General of what you call the United Nations, which is a joke. And here's what I say as an alien from another planet. Number one, the Secretary of the United Nations should go through the three parties involved, Presidents Biden of the United States, Putin of the Russian Federation, and Mr. Kalinsky of the Ukraine, and say, I propose a 72-hour uh, halt to uh, shelling and any other war activities. No firing. It's a ceasefire. 72 hours. Russia will hold the forces where they are. Ukraine will hold the forces where they are. And the United States will cease for 72 hours to enforce sanctions on the Russian Federation and subsequent peoples. Then I would have a conversation with all three leaders. Number one, I would talk to Mr. Putin and I'll tell him again, President Putin, what the hell do you want? And this is not a negotiation. This is not a compromise. But this is to resolve your issue. Because the problem with your society is you don't have no comprehension and you don't have no advancement on your social structure. And it's going to take decades to get that there. But right now we need to stop this. So again, President Vladimir Putin, what the hell do you want? that'll take in effect that you will pull your forces across the border of Ukraine, cease to view them as your territory, okay, and to the United Nations, I'll say, you have to take a more active role here because both three states, you put as members to your United Nations which you shouldn't have done. You should have, there should have been a slot that do they really deserve to be members of the United Nations? Russia has proved them not. The United States has proved them not members. And Ukraine has been proved that not members because they got suckered by both sides. I'm not saying that the Ukrainians are stupid. I'm just saying they got suckered by both sides who are playing this dangerous game. Then I would talk to President Biden and say, you got to assist and desist with your way of doing business here. And if Mr. Zelensky from the Ukraine, you got an independent country here and you're, you put it at risk for something that you couldn't have. 
Do you know that your next door neighbor is a very, how would you say, uh, schizophrenic neighbor over there? Which is the way I would describe Russia and China. Schizophrenic and very much savage. Both leaders of the country. I would make some suggestions to President Vladimir Putin. What would it take for you to take your Russian forces out of Ukraine? Then we go from there. And there are some items that you can't negotiate with. But you can come out to a consensus, which is better than negotiations. If you understand what I mean by the word consensus. There are some items that you could have taken and handled better than you did i.e. the Crimea. Yes, that was yours, but taking it by force was not the answer. That's why you got this stupid organization here that you belong as a member, otherwise known as the United Nations. You had plenty of gripe to have the United Nations declare it part of your territory. You didn't go there. It's the rules of your own society, President Putin, and you didn't do it. President Biden, why did you tell President Zelensky that, uh, yeah, sure, we're going to look into your membership for NATO, when you know that that was irking the Russians because you also have Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, Poland, uh, Czechoslovakia, which is now the Czech Republic and the, Slo uh, the Republic of Slovenia over there, and the Balkan countries as members of NATO. What are you doing? I can understand Vladimir Putin's position here. It's like Taiwan and China. But there's a different story with Taiwan and China, which I'll get to it when we got another story with China trying to take over Taiwan. But here in the negotiations, if I were really... Uh, an alien that wanted to interfere in your affairs, what I would tell President Putin is put your uh, forces back to your border. If I see, because I'll have a ship on orbit, and if I see you going across the borders, if I hear uh, insurrections happening in the inside of Ukraine, because the people that are right now as Russians, they speak Russians and they believe in Russians, they should be transferred to you. If they want to be with Russia, they should be in your territory. That territory is originally from Ukraine. Okay? I would go that route. If I were an interfering extraterrestrial, but I'm not. I'm bound by directives here. So I'm going to do the next best thing and act as a mediator. So again, President Putin, what the hell do you want? And President Biden, what the hell are you trying to accomplish? And why did you put Ukraine in such a position? And the Secretary General of the United Nations, what the hell did you not look at these three nations and look at this on your own side? That's what you're there for. You're not there to sit there and watch as one invades another country because of he has some gripes and grievances and he thinks he can take care of it with military and bloodshed. Really? I should just call your enemy the Mushka and say, hey, they're right here now. Come and take them. They don't care if you're Russian. They'll wipe you out of the planet just like they would the Ukrainians and the Americans and the Chinese. To them, you're hateful humans. Should I do that? I can make a broadcast here. And eventually, in about 10 years, which is uh, much faster than not, because of the, your satellites and the way uh, YouTube handles this thing here, uh, the Musha Omkirin, and they have understood English language. Because they have ships. And they have subsequently found two of your probes. 
So they know what you guys are doing. So I can tell them, hey, you want to come over here? Yeah, I give you the exact coordinates of planet Earth. You haven't visited in 70,000 years, but yeah. You want them? You got them. Because we had nothing to do with them. They're going to be dangerous if they go outside their own solar system. Woo! Are you guys going to be dangerous? This is your favorite alien telling the three presidents there is a way out of this mess. But first... The Secretary General of the United Nations must convince President Zelensky of Ukraine, Putin of Russia, and the worst of all, President Biden of the United States, to accept a 72-hour ceasefire with forces in play, no more forces added, and no more forces subtracted. You are, are uh, frozen in place for 72 hours. What do you say? This is your favorite alien. Good day.